What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. It's been about four days since the infamous 10,000 calorie challenge. Great video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But over the course of that video, I gained 13 pounds in one day. There were people concerned at the end of it by how big my stomach had gotten and uh, that my abs were gone, that it was gonna take me a while to bounce back. But rest assured people, on this channel, we bounce back pretty quick. I mean, it really ain't that tough. I always say this, if you gain it quick, you can lose it quick. So don't be discouraged if you have one crazy cheat meal where you eat a ton of calories that you're just gained a ton of weight because that's not how it works. A lot of it's water. And yeah, you probably gain a little bit of fat, but as long as you hop back on your program and you keep eating anabolic, you get back on the diet, you don't miss the gym, your body will snap back like a rubber band to the eye. Might be a little painful, but it'll happen. And today I'm gonna give you guys another easy weekly meal prep. Not only does this require like no cooking at all, right? Anybody can do it, but you can have burritos in the fridge or freezer for the entire week. So when you're hungry and you need something like that, you can pull it out, throw it in the oven or throw it in the microwave and you're gonna be ready to go. Today we are making a week's worth of anabolic bean and cheese burritos. Minimal ingredients, minimal prep time, whole week's worth of burritos at your fingertips. You really can't lose, man, with this one. You can't. So if you're the type that gets hungry, you don't have the time to cook, and you end up calling Domino's and consuming 4,000 calories of BS, then just maybe a recipe like this one is just what you need to get back on the right track. And as always, man, my RJF cookbook, link in description. All my recipes are in here. Every ingredient, every macro, the amount of protein, the calories, everything. So if you want tons of ideas for meal prep or you want dessert ideas, you want to be able to eat foods that you love without giving up on the health benefits of the anabolic diet, then man, this might be the best investment you ever made. But don't take my word for it. Just keep watching the channel. Keep watching the physique. Keep watching me bounce back because I'm trying to be an example of the power of this diet. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. And if you get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So when it comes to making burritos, there's only one wrap that I trust, and that's the Mission Large Flour Tortilla Wraps. These are the perfect size. You can stuff them full of things. They wrap well, and they don't tear. So this is what we're using. So the first thing we do is lay down a square piece of foil big enough for our tortilla, and then hit it with nonstick spread. Then just lay when your tortilla's down right on it. Now we just need a food scale and a large mixing bowl so we can get to making our filling. And I'm telling you, this is wicked simple. We start off with 130 grams of refried beans. So I'm just gonna wash that scale and slowly put them down in here. And then next up, we just need 112 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. Like I always preach, man, this stuff is a protein source. And just 28 grams, you're getting 9 grams of protein. That's wild. So you don't have to rely on just meat or protein shakes to get your protein intake in, man. Fat-free cheese is a great source. And now we just need 30 grams of a mild salsa. It's only 10 calories in 30 grams. So as long as those calories add up, you can use whatever flavor you want, bud. Just wash that scale and slowly pour her in there. And then our final two ingredients, which are optional, but they're going to add some flavor. We have one one gram of garlic powder. Just put it right down in there. And then one gram of ground cumin. Boom. Now we just gotta mix it up and watch how easy this is. So with just a spoon, you just go in, start spinning her around and voila, just like that, we have our filling. Now we just spoon our bean and cheese filling right into the middle of our tortilla. Pro tip, try to keep it as concentrated in the middle as you can because that's gonna make it way easier to roll up. And then to give you guys a little rolling tutorial, what I like to do is push everything to the middle like so. And then we're gonna bring these sides up, make sure they touch, right? Hold them down, flip this side up and over, just kind of see that. And then we created that right there. Tuck that side in, tuck that in, roll it and boom. I mean, I ain't no Chipotle worker, but that's pretty impressive. And then all we do now is wrap the foil around it. One side over, other side over, underneath, underneath, and boom. And just like that, minimal time spent, we have one anabolic bean and cheese burrito ready to go. A little bit of time in the microwave, she's gonna be melty, she's gonna be gooey, full of flavor. It's gonna be great, but this video I'm gonna show you how to do a week's worth. So what I always say is that with any recipe I drop on this channel, if you want to meal prep, you're just gonna do a little multiplication of the ingredients. So if, for instance, I'm adding everything to my mixing bowl, right, and it's 112 grams of cheese per burrito, then I multiply that by six and I get 672 grams. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let's finish this up. And 
and boom, just like that, a whole week's worth of burritos ready to go. So at this point, you can throw these in the fridge because there's nothing in here that's really gonna go bad within that week. So these are fine to just throw in the fridge or you can freeze them if you wanna save them for weeks out. Now you can always take these with you and microwave them, but what I recommend we do is throw them in the oven because they're gonna be extra gooey and just extra delicious that way. Come on. And I'm only gonna throw one in here for right now because uh, I can only really eat one, man. These are super filling. But I'm gonna toss it in at 450 degrees for about 30 minutes. That's gonna make the outer shell crispy, the inside super gooey, and it's gonna be a delicacy. Trust me. And here in no time, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be feasting. Let's go. And boom, just pulled it out of the oven, guys. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, you see how after you bake it, the bottom like locks into place? Now it's time for the good old fashioned cut test. Let's see what we got right here. Ooh, oh my goodness. Can you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that, man. Our bean cheese salsa mixture, creamy, gooey, a little messy, but worth it, I promise. If you made it this far into the video, smash that thumbs up button, comment something down below, something. It helps. And per usual with these videos, guys, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. It is showtime, and how many days in a row now am I rocking these Final Boss joggers, man? I'm gonna keep doing it. Some of y'all have gotten them, some of y'all love them, but you don't know what you're missing if you haven't yet. FinalBossAthletics.com, could RGF 10, 10%. And before we dive into this majestic beast, I'm gonna do one scoop of greens, man. I take these daily. The diet I'm on, I rarely ever eat vegetables. I just, just make sure I'm doing the right thing. Doctor's orders, you know how that goes. One scoop. Mm. Ah, wow, now we're good. Available at finalbossformers.com, Amazon.com, free today shipping, code RJF10 gives you 10% off. All right, man, let's dive into this burrito. I'm just gonna start right, actually, you know what, let's get a little berry thing. A little tortilla, the bean cheese mixture, the perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. Once again, we knocked it out of the park. Even just that filling alone is amazing. It reminds me of when I was a kid, my mom would order from the Schwann Man. Did you guys have a Schwann Man back home? That like truck would drive through your neighborhood and you'd buy frozen food. Well, she'd get these like bean and cheese burritos, little microwavable things, and uh, I loved them. Forgot about them until right now, and this is what that tastes like. Boom. Oh. And the glory behind this recipe is just how simple it is. The ingredients combine super easily. You whip it together, you throw it into burritos, and you guys saw, you just lay out all your tortillas, fill them all up, wrap them up, wrap them in foil, and you're good. And this is gonna beat the crap out of going through the Wendy's drive through McDonald's drive through getting a thousand calories of sugar, not enough protein, and feeling like crap afterwards. Instead, you do this, take this to work with you, toss her in the microwave, or heck, you can even eat these things cold, man. They're still good that way, I'm telling you. When you're making this, right before you tag me on Instagram, just try that little mixture of the beans and the cheese. Just try it real quick before you fill it up. I'm like, oh yeah, Rim was right. Ooh, 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 let's do a big one. <sighs> when you bake it at 450, the tortilla gets like a little crispness to it. It's nice. Seriously, look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. Ooh, ooh, that cheesy beanie goodness. And that's the biggest fallacy with all the information out there about nutrition and diet right now, man. You got people incentivized to write these fitness articles, right? You get people that are locked into one specific type of diet, whether that be keto, vegetarian, carnivore, whatever. And they brainwash you into thinking that they're way of eating is the best way, that you can't have carbs, or your fat has to be so high so it puts your body into where you're burning no glucose. It's just, all of it's too confusing, and there's all these narratives being spun up. There's one thing that I can tell you about this entire process, is that you gotta quit looking at certain foods as good or bad. The one thing you have to do is understand that the only two things that matter, when it comes to your results, it comes to having a lean physique, building muscle, losing weight, is that you need to have adequate protein in your diet. It's gonna make sure your body prioritizes fat loss over muscle loss while you're in a calorie deficit. And the second thing, which is arguably the most important, is making sure you track your daily calories and make sure you're eating the right amount of calories in a day for you, for your activity levels, what you do. I eat right now around 3,000 calories a day. All recipes like this, super high in protein, it's nothing for me to hit 300 grams of protein in a day. And with that diet, I was able to do a 10,000 calorie challenge, gain 13 pounds, and get basically back to normal in four days. And that's on 3,000 calories a day. I'm eating foods I love, I'm never hungry, never feel like I'm missing out on anything, and I'm fueling my body the right way, man. And that's what this channel's about, that's what my cookbook's about, these recipes about are finding ways to add protein and eliminate some of the crap out of our favorite foods, man. So a regular bean and cheese burrito, if you go to a gas station, you grab one, you look at that nutrition label, it might as well just say gain and fat on it because there ain't nothing in there that's good for you. But when you do it this way, you 
keep things simple. You make it yourself. You have control over what you're making and you take the time to do it. That's when you see the real results, guys. But once again, I always say, just don't take my word for it, man. I obviously want you guys to trust me, but don't take my word for it. You just try it. You just give it a shot for a week even, right? Track your calories, make the recipe, set a protein goal, set a calorie goal, and just simply follow it. Consistency ultimately trumps everything. I'm at a point now where in order for me to actually gain significant weight and lose the body I built, I would have to just go completely off the rail. But I don't see how that's possible when I'm eating foods I love and I'm enjoying every meal that I eat. Like this is incredible. And even just a couple years ago, I'd have told you that a bean and cheese burrito just simply couldn't fit in a diet. That's what I thought because I was brainwashed too. But I'm telling you guys, man, if you take anything away from the channel and these recipes, it's that true freedom is when you make this a lifestyle and you embrace healthier versions of your favorite stuff. That way, when those cravings come a knocking, all you got to do is whip up a batch of donuts instead of going through Krispy Kreme, getting six, 6,000 calories and gaining weight and losing all your progress and motivation. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. Mm, this is great. So in this entire recipe for one of these burritos, right? If you make it exactly how I did it, per burrito, you end up with 546 calories, only six grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, 73 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber. So we were able to keep it low fat. We have 50 grams of protein. My goal every day, my minimum that I hit is 200. So if I eat four of these burritos in a day, right? I still have 800 calories left in the day. I can really eat whatever I want and I've hit my protein goal. That is how simple it is. Forget what you think you know, man. It is really that simple. Don't overthink it. You gotta make this one. You gotta tag me on the gram and you gotta let me know how freaking amazing this is. And the best part is, right, I'm on my last bite. I got six more in there, man. If I'm craving one later, I can have it. And that's the goal with a lot of these recipes is like you can meal prep any of them out. Any food can be frozen, any food can be stored. Most food's gonna last at least three to five days in the fridge. Some things like this can last a week easy. It's just getting it in your head that you're gonna put that little bit of work in and you're gonna make it happen. It's ain't rocket science, baby. It's just a little bit of work and uh, anything's possible. I believe that. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash thumbs up for me. Comment anything down below. Comment uh, what foods you want to see me make a healthy week's worth of. Guys, you guys seem to love these videos, so I'll keep making them. You just uh, let me know. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Yeah, we got burritos deep, boy.